Hello guys, Valkyrie here with a how-to video. This video will show you how to set up SAM turrets and auto turrets in Rust. I'm making two different towers for both the wind turbines. One will, one will be higher than the other to show the power difference between both of them on different levels. As you can see here, you can see the power when I'm holding it over. Now if I go look at the other wind turbine, it will have less power than this one has coming through. You can see that the power is dropped and is diff the one higher up is producing more electricity than the one that is lower. So place down a battery, so then I can connect both of these wind turbines into the battery. I'm going to be using a root combiner which isn't needed to charge up a battery but if you want the battery to charge up quicker a root combiner is the way to do that. So you place that down on the wall and you connect both the wind turbines into the root combiner into the oh, uh, input 1 and 2. So that's now putting power into the root combiner and now connect this one down into the power one now that will what that will do was connect both powers and make them into one signal so then I connect this into the battery and that will be inputting more uh, more electricity than it would if you just plugged in a single one right now I'm going to craft a switch and a splitter a, uh, a switch isn't required, but if you want to use SAM turrets, it is as the SAM turrets are shooting down friendly helicopters. So, anyways, you put the output on the battery, you connect it into the uh, into the switch, or you could do it into better if you want to use a switch or not. But in this video, I'll use a switch. So the inputs go into the switch, and if you flick it on and off, it will show signals of power going through. So with the output of the switch, I put it into the splitter, and it will put power into the three, uh, the three leads at the bottom, the three outlets. So I'm going to put down a turret. I'm going to put down four of them, and a sand turret. You want to use an electrical branch. This is what I'm going to be using to connect all of these up. As you can see the turret only requires 10 power, so the branch is going to allow just enough to go through. You want to place these behind walls and not beside the turrets, as they only require about 20 explosive rounds, and that will break the branch and disable the, the turret. So I'll place it behind a wall so that it isn't destroyed easy. On the uh, splitter, I do the output into. I put it out I'm into the branch, put it on the input, alert. power input, and then is on top of here there's two different settings. There's a branch out and then power out. If you want to connect it to the turret, you want to go on well. the branch out and connect that straight into the turret. And then you connect it to the turret. It will only show two power as the branch is only set to allow two electricity to go through. So if I click on here, configure, and put in 10. Now that will allow the turret to have enough electricity to run through for it to turn on. So switch, to switch it off, you just click the switch, which will turn off the turret. So to connect the rest of them is more branches, so I'm going to place another three. And as I was saying before, there's a branch out and a power out. On the power out, you want to put it to the other branches input. Power input, and you want to do that for another two times on the rest of them. Now with all them branches out, what you do is, we're done the same time, is branch out into the turret. And it will only come through two, as two electricity, as with only set so branch out into all the turrets then after that if you turn the turrets on 
these won't work as there's only two electricity so you'll want to go back to, to your branch and configure that to 10 and they will glo uh, go green once it shows that there's enough power going through see all of them are now working and if I turn it off you can see that all of them turn off as of the SAM site it requires 25 power which the turret only required 10 so another branch will be placed and since the last branch still had the available output and it's going to be enough electricity coming through to power all of this I put the output on the branch and put it into this input and then put the branch out into the SAM as you can see there's a red light you want to look at that and remember that red means it's off and green means it's on so as it's red now it's because we haven't put the branch onto 25 output so all of them are off you turn the turret, uh, turret on by the switches can you just do this with branches then you go onto the branch so you thread still go onto the branch put it in as 25 as shown on the build label now if you go outside you will see that it's green and that means your SAM turret is working thank you so much for watching the video this is my first how to and I hope this has helped gain you knowledge into electricity this has been Valkyrie bye